You can gain new abilities at any time by using Praxis software to unlock your body's mechanical augmentations. Unlock the glass shield cloaking system so that you can bypass the security laser without being detected. Active augmentations are assigned to quick slots and can be activated at any time. These augmentations consume energy whenever they are used. Activate the glass shield cloaking system and pass through the laser gate undetected. Don't move. Please, you must not stop me! He's here to kill you, Mikhail. You told me I would have more time! Please, I have to finish what I started or- Touch that console and it'll be the last thing you ever do, Minister. Mikhail, this is bigger than you. We need the data on the killing floor and the tyrants. You must complete the upload. That's enough from you, pal. No. No, not yet. It's over. You're not here to arrest me. You're not a policeman. What authority do you have? Please, I beg of you, do not kill me. I only did what I thought was right. This man is not a criminal. You cannot judge him. Save it. You're part of a global terror network. The people you sold out to are responsible for the deaths of my men. Operation Rainbird. You know that name? You know what happened out there? That was my squad you sacrificed. They were soldiers, doing their jobs. It wasn't even their damn war, but you gave us up to the enemy. You're going to answer for what you've done. Are you watching this? Because we're coming for you next. No! No, no, no! That's not true! I'm not a terrorist! I, I've never even heard of this Operation Rainbird! Please, Janus, help me! Do you know what you are doing, mercenary? Do you know what master you serve? You are being lied to. They cannot afford to have you learn the truth. They are using your desire for revenge to control you. Janus is right. I don't know anything about your men. You must believe me. I do not want to die. I won't kill you, but you're coming with me, and you're going to tell me everything. Green light. Please, I do not want to die. Target has been terminated. All units, exfiltrate now. Tyrants and the men holding their leash don't seek justice. They want control, absolute control. And they use every tool available to them. Manipulation, lies, assassination. How did you find out that Namir was lying to you about Kuntarsky and Operation Rainbird? After Moscow, I knew something was wrong. I started looking where I wasn't supposed to. The Tyrants operate from a mobile base, a jetliner fitted with stealth gear. That's where I found the intel on Namir's computer. What did you find, Ben? It's really important. Try to remember every detail you can. We were flying at night, across the North Atlantic. We were in the middle of a storm. I waited until the debrief was complete, made sure the others were out of the way. I took the opportunity to look around.
got into the control center and forced access to Mir's computer. He used a program called the Killing Floor to get his orders. from where? I'm not sure, but I found the recon report for Operation Rainbird. Two versions of it. One which said our flight path was safe, clear of drone activity, and another which told the truth. We were sent straight into a kill zone. Kontarski had nothing to do with it. Set you up. I had to find Amir to find out. You're trying to recruit me. You're trying to recruit me. I read the after action report on the failure of Operation Rainbird. I want you to tell me the truth about Operation Rainbird. Kontarski was never involved, was he? You used me to kill him. You're a very good soldier, Ben, but there's something you lack. Enlighten me. You can't see where the line is. You don't know how to compartmentalize yourself. You're not willing to make that sacrifice. That's what we have to do. Put up walls around the parts of our souls we want to keep sacrosanct. Barriers to protect our humanity. We're killers, Ben. It's what we're best at. Is that what you do? You're one man in here with us. Out there you're someone else. An assassin, a liar. That's not something to be proud of. That's a pattern of psychosis. You're very good at what you do, Ben. But inside, you're weak. You can't let go. I thought that might change after what happened in Australia. I had hopes. You were part of that. I want you to think very carefully about what you say next. Because this is the most important choice you will ever make. What happened in Moscow? That was not a test of your character or your loyalty. This is the test, Ben. This is what will define who you are and your future with the tyrants. Do you understand? I need to know if you can be like me. Like the rest of us. Like you. You don't hide your humanity, Namir. You just tell yourself you do. But you lost it a long time ago. You and Barrett, Fedorova, and the others. You're just a weapon that thinks like a man. That's a shame. I really wanted you to understand. I hate to see great potential waste. Tell me what you did. I want the truth. I wish I could make it clear how lucky you are, Ben. Recruitment into the tyrants is not a reward that just anyone is given. You were on our radar for a long time before I came to you in Australia. I gave you the opportunity to be something greater. The falsified mission data. You had it substituted for the real thing. How? We have assets inside the Bell Tower Corporation. It wasn't difficult. Those men in your squad, they were a hindrance to you. They had to be sacrificed. It was your trial by fire. If you had perished there in the desert alongside them, then you had no place with us. But if you came out alone... I tried to save him. Sam Duarte. I could have saved his life. He was expendable. They all were. I gave the order to sabotage Rainbird because I needed to know if you were willing to live, Ben. If you had the courage to survive. You heartless fucking bastard. Survivor's guilt. 
The psychological profile said that was all I needed to control you. But these things are so hard to determine. I'm pleased. I could prove you wrong. The fall from the jetliner really did a number on your neuro hub. I can't believe I had to reconfigure it. All the progress you've made with your augmentations. Lost. I'll be fine. I've already started relearning the basics. I'll be using my augmentations at full strength in no time. I suppose so. Still, it's a miracle that you survived. You and me both. You did as much to hurt them as I did. But they're still looking for us. And the moment we stick our heads up, we'll be spotted. They're after us because they're afraid of what we know. We can expose them, Ben. We can get justice, not just revenge. I know that, Luke. What's your plan? We've got pieces of the puzzle. We just need to put them back together. Think back to what you found on the plane. Operation Rainbird went down in Queensland. It was a strike mission, part of the Australian oil conflict. And Namir was there to pull you out of the ashes. Exactly. He had everything in place. So we know the tyrants have major assets in Australia. That's the start. I've been scanning the net, looking at Glass Curtain, Conspiracy Crew, all the activist groups. They talk about the tyrants. They have profiles, but no one takes them seriously. You think people will listen to us? Ben Saxon broke down squatting. Anna Kelso, federal agent turned fugitive. There's always someone who will... listen. <laughs> between doses. And I know why. We're almost out. Without a supply of new pods, this will happen more often. Our augmentations will malfunction. Janice is supposed to find us a new source, right? I don't trust anyone else. I haven't spoken to our hacker friend in months. Then I guess we might have to tough it out for a while. No. I'm not going to put you at risk. I'll contact Janice now.
Janus, are you out there? Hello, Benjamin. It's been a while. Are you and Miss Kelso safe? For now. But Anna's sick. I mean, we both are. We're running out of neuropazine. You're not the only ones. The neuropazine shortage is getting worse. Augmented people everywhere are suffering. Can you help us? It might be time to start looking for alternatives, Benjamin. An alternative to neuropazine? I don't have any sources that can supply you directly. The risk of exposure is too great. You're gonna have to pay a visit to the doctor. I can't go to a limb clinic. If I use any official channels, they'll track me down, and Anna and I will be on the run again. I understand that. I have a contact for you. An underground doctor who operates in Panama City. His name is Alvarez Araujo. He may be able to help. Tell me about this guy, Alvarez. Can I trust him? His past is shady. He used to be a doctor, but now he operates in the slums. It seems he has something of an altruistic streak. The poor and desperate turn to him when they can't get help elsewhere. I know how they feel. I may need to upgrade my augmentations. I don't know what kind of trouble I might get into out there. You'll need a Praxis kit for that. But your mechanical augmentations can be enhanced at any time if you have one. And you won't have to blow your cover visiting a limb clinic for an upgrade. Panama's a dangerous place. I'm gonna need some equipment, some protection if I'm going there. The city is rife with black market contacts. Providing you have the money, they'll be happy to sell you what you want, and it won't be traced back to you. Contacts you trust, right? Use them. See what you can dig up about Namir and the tyrants. And what about you? Who's gonna keep you safe if I'm not around? with a human body's natural. Right. Anna, do you read me? I'm in Panama City. How does it feel to get back into the world? A breath of fresh air, huh? I wouldn't exactly call it fresh. Just try not to draw attention to yourself. So who is this guy you're looking for? Dr. Alvarez Araujo. I'll let you know when I find him.